I thought you will see in our presentation that the premier of our province, I guess in the language of the United States, would have been a governor, was going to present. But there are challenges she is attending to regarding her personal health, which we think are passing. And uh, we are very confident uh, that they are passing uh, just disturbance. It's a minor issue. Uh, as a result of that, I have to present, because we are a family. You will find that we are very unique as compared to any other country. Uh, we are working as a province, which comprises more than mere one local government or one city. Uh, again, Program Director, Professor Kasada, the international leadership of the new hope lying in the airport city economy. They worship the mayor, uh, Hancock, Kim Day, who welcomed us very warmly on our arrival together with the mayor. The South African team, led by both politicians and bureaucrats and people with various expertise, the African leadership that is here and all other South Africans who have found their way to this special conference. I thought before one goes to the presentation, Prof, it would have been important to, to say why are we here. I think the fact of the situation of our country in one way or another dictates our presence here. We are no different from the current global challenges, issues of inequality, the issues of poverty, the issues of unemployment. Knowing we're also a developing country, one of the big challenges that is not living to its potential to date. We also acknowledge our situation as South Africans to the fact that we also are not excluded or immune to what is referred to by Alex Kirby the other time. He called it South Africa in an industrial cross zone, industrial development cross zone, with a, a manufacturing sector that is facing a global challenge in terms of competitiveness. We are not immune to that challenge. Now, the other issue is also we are a country with a, national, with a natural potential which has not been fully realized. And therefore, we face, I, we face a challenge of creating ideas to unlock that potential to perform to, the, to its fullest. We are also living at a time when our government in the entire country is unleashing a huge program of infrastructure which goes up to a trillion, if I quote the figures correctly, and which calls for any province in our country or a local authority worth its stakeholder role to find its niche. And in that program, one of the critical challenges or areas of focus is the elevation of the value of logistics. When Professor Kasada was in South Africa just recently, he hammered in our heads which may something which may come across as routine knowledge, but which at time is not always appreciated. I call it the golden chronology. That uh, if you are in a struggle for employment, to attack poverty, to improve human lives, you have to be competitive. 
to be competitive, there's a particular approach you have to adopt. The second level in that chronology is that once you are competitive, there will be investment. Once there is investment, there will be economic development. Once there's economic development, you will be able to attack poverty. The other reason why you are here, Program Director, is that in interaction with yourself and our situation, as Gauteng in South Africa, we also found a resonance with a new thinking of a globally networked economy, which is increasingly fast-paced, where rules of competition have changed, where distance is no longer in kilometers between customers and suppliers, but it's about accessibility. We got exposed to that truth and realized that we had to look in our own situation and ask ourselves, where do we fit in the modern form of competition? We thought as Houten, as Eguruleni Airport City, our case can't be argued outside Houten because there's a Houten province in the whole story. Houten province, as the prophet said, constitutes up to 40%, between 33 and 40% of the economy of our country. At times, if you were to separate it from the country, uh, people who've got time would have said we're number three or number four in the continent as a province. History has placed us as a gateway to Africa. Amongst other reason is the O.R. Tambo, Oliver Tambo Regional International Airport. And uh, Houteng is also unique in the sense that it is three contiguous metros. That is not a normal case. And these metros have got their unique competitive advantages. And uh, as I've already said, we contribute about that percentage to the economy of the country. And we are key economy in SADC and the fourth largest economy in Africa. Gauteng, as a city region, we might have interacted with the concept of city region as a key approach in leveraging potentials of various countries today, because it is regions that are competing, not cities. We also have a city region as Gauteng, which leverage on our three metros, metros comprising of Johannesburg, which is a commercial hub. Most banks are concentrated there. And uh, Tswane, which is an auto city, Egorulini, which we refer to as a manufacturing capital of Africa. Gauteng infrastructure had some interventions of kind due to some kind of events that have taken place and many other strategic reasons. For instance, there are some, there are some upgrade that took place as a result of World Cup, which has been declared the most uh, successful World Cup in the history of that code. We have been involved in a huge freeway improvement. Then there's also significant work done on the bus rapid transit. Jobek is leading, Tswane leading, and we are coming behind as the city. And we also have successfully put in place a high-speed train, which is in operation. And the upgrade has also gone a significant amount. And we also are hosting a huge infrastructure 
which, whose value we are unlocking at the moment. Our next generation of Inland Hub will focus on the global supply chain, which will include creating an integrated multimodal logistic capability, which comprises of air, road, rail, and sea. This will ensure that we achieve a quantum leap from the existing generation of Inland Hub operating capabilities. The OR Tambo International Airport is located in Egurule, located in Egurule and it plays a key strategic role in leveraging on the competitive advantage of our city region. And the same airport connects Gauteng city region with Africa and the rest of the world. Our airport handles close to 28 million passengers per annum and around 213,000 annual traffic movements at the airport, including 115 cargo airlines to the rest of the world. This is a reflection of the air cargo per region. If you see in that slide, it shows you how much is imported to us through that airport with those countries. That's the amount from Africa and to Africa, from Asia and to Asia, from Europe and to Europe, from Latin America and to Latin America, from Middle East and to Middle East, North Africa, and what we actually export through that infrastructure to North Africa. We also have a vision in the long term of a fully-fledged Gauteng airport city in the context of the city region. What makes us to think in that fashion, we have other airports that are growing at a fast pace. Amongst others, is an airport referred to as von der Boom in the city of Tswane and another one called Lanzeria. Many of the manufacturing companies, as I've already said, are in Eguruleni, which makes Eguruleni the manufacturing capital of Africa. Eguruleni, the airport city that we are focusing on at the moment, is a combination of a network of roads, rail lines, and the busiest airport in Africa to be considered the transportation hub of the country from the logistic point of view. We host the busiest road interchange in the form of which sees roughly 300,000 automobiles passing through our city. That interchange is popularly known as Gilulis. Our train links Twane and Joburg to us to the airport city of Eguruleni. The commuter rail between Tswane and Jobe go through Eguruleni. What you will discover, program director, is that Eguruleni has a status of being a rail hub of Africa in the sense that it connects Africa to the Indian Ocean port along Maputo Corridor, which goes through Swaziland and so on. It also connects Africa to the busiest port in Africa, which is in Durban. Largest sanding stations are located in Jimistin within the city, which makes Jimistin CBD the SADC junction of Africa from the railway point of view. We also host a network of freeways connecting the Gauteng province and Eguruleni to the Maputo corridor, as I've already articulated. We also, the city is also on a move to fast track the integrated rapid public transport network to address the problem of high travel costs. One of the key challenges we are facing, which as a province, we are looking at this challenge with positive confidence. Having interacted with Professor Casada and his team, his realization of the integration of rail, air, and roads, and the need of a continuous transport infrastructure network, 
which actually must render the entire Gauteng seamless for this dream to succeed. There is an exploration of economic models with possibilities to reduce the poverty and unemployment and create jobs. This we see in the context of exploiting benefits that lie in the airport economy. We view Owar Tambo Airport as serving as a catalyst to trigger, to integrate, a trigger to integrate the city and ensure economic development. We recognize also the challenge of the requisite skill to make this dream a success. And there are strategies that are actually unfolding to actually respond to that challenge. We want to say to this conference, for our, for our aerotropolis to be realized, there will be a need for deliberate facilitation of stakeholder and government engagement, the work which is progressing very well. The prof has already said, National has acknowledged the significance of this project. They are awaiting a master plan so that it can be funded. We have, as I speak, the strategic roadmap from which we intend to produce a master plan for that funding. We want to say the environment in and around OR Tambo International Airport is embedded with the basic characteristics of an aerotropolis in that conclusion. We also want to say that the, to draw the attention of this conference that the roadmap we have will actually help us move in this direction of a global competitive city region. Being with you here, having interacted with yourselves, having gone via Memphis before coming here, we've interface with many stories of hope. And we are convinced, as Gauteng and the Republic of South Africa, we'll go home with a bigger hope than we had when we came here. It is in that context that we will invite you, though I know this will be officially done at the right time, to our country next year, after interacting with you, we are convinced we will receive you and we will not let you down. Thank you very much. Thank you.